Prakati Hau, Prakati Hau Shai, Prakati Hau, Prakati Hau Shai, Prakati Hau, Prakati Hau, Bashim Yau Shai, Bashim, Ukakodash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone, true well. Salutations to the hopeful elect out there, you Akim, the Zadakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. On the pre Shaman, this week's topic is going to be entitled Give Up, Give Up Your Life for This Truth. And the inspiration for the show comes to the fact that. Hey man, I was just thinking like, you know, I have certain things to get done, but the most important thing I have to do is make sure I get this lesson up, feed the uh, flock, and pretty much put this truth before anything, you know, any, any, any bullshit, anything in this world, because this world is temporal and it's going to pass away, but this truth endure forever. Furthermore, the Heavenly Father commanded us so. I'm going to go through a few scriptures about that, man. All right? Because some people are just not willing to make the sacrifice that's required for this word. This is Ecclesiastes 12 and 13. Let us hear the conclusion of the whole matter. Now, this is King Solomon, who had everything. Right? Every worldly possession you want as a man, he had it. He had the wealth, riches, wisdom, women, everything, you know? And he had the truth, right? So this is what he said. All right? This is the meaning of life. People always want to know, what's the meaning of life? Why are we here? Here's the answer. Fear the Most High and keep His commandments, for this is the whole duty of man, right? So you wasn't put on this earth to pursue, pursue some sort of career that you wanted, all right? You wasn't put on earth to be the it guy, all right? You were put on earth as a man to do the duties of the Heavenly Father. And currently, this world that we live in, this present rulership um, under the so-called white men and these nations, this is not this is not our world. This is not the kingdom that the the, the Most High Son, Yahweh Shai, had planned for his people, all right? This is the so-called white man's world, all right? This is his particular blessing, and this is our hell, all right? Now, yes, we maneuver through this world. We do what we got to do, okay? We have ups and downs. We may have more downs than ups. You may have more ups and downs. But no matter what, this thing has to come first. This truth has to come first, right? It comes, it, well, let's get, let's get it. Let's go do it. All right. So this is because you really got to give up your life for this. Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father. By the way, this is my letter. This is our Lord, Yahweh Shah speaking. Luke 14 and 26. If any man come to me and hate not his father and mother and wife and children and brethren and sisters, yea, and his own life also, he cannot be my disciple. Now this... You know, again, understanding that don't mean you hate your parents. All right, you go out and hate them. What the scriptures are saying is don't put any, don't put your family members, those close and dear to your heart before this word. Because ultimately, the hour of temptation where, you know, we're going to get tested with RFID microchip, Satan could play on your weakness, could have, you know, a bullet to your, your family member's head and tell you to take it. But we have to be like the woman in the Maccabees and her seven kids who took death rather than eat pork. You know, because she, well, pretty much they, she understood that her kids, her seven children, all right, her seven sons rather, will um come back in the reincarnation. You know, but the main thing was to hold her integrity, being a servant of the Heavenly Father. You have to maintain his laws, all right. And we know that the wicked, um, again, the so called white man at the top, these nations, two thirds, we know that the wicked have their own agenda. And, they, and their agenda conflicts with the word of the Most High. Okay? So, though you might love certain things in the world, look, man, I love my family. You know? I love women. love making cash. I love playing sports. I love bodily exercises. Some of the things that if you're not balanced could fuck your head up. You know? I just You just have to always keep it in your mind. Always bring it back to remembrance that, you know what, at the end of the day... I got to be able to drop those things in a second for this word, you know? Don't let the worldly the worldly pleasures or, you know, your flesh um, cloud the judgment that this is a sacrifice. This is a trade. Scripture says we're bought with a price, right? So how were we bought with a price? When Yahweh Shah spilled his blood on the cross for us, all right? That was him redeeming us, buying us back to the Father. So, you know, when you buy, you trade something. Right, so his life was traded for our life. I'm gonna get that scripture. All right, the whole reason that we are, are dead to this world 
It's because Yahusha died for us that he may live through us in this present time. You know, this is uh, Revelations 12 and 10. Oh, Slovakia. Revelations 12 and 10. And I heard a loud voice saying in heaven, now is come salvation and strength and the kingdom of our power and the power of his and the power of his anointed for the accuser of our brethren is cast down. Now the accuser of our brethren is Esau, which, 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 you know, they, they make our people go off <clears throat> these different, um, shit that they implement these different trends and and, and, and and ways for people to get on so our people could truly just go against the heavenly father it says of our brethren is cast down which accused them before our power day and night to go into these secret magistrates and cast up demons and tell the demons to report to the most I look what the children of Israel is doing they're going to hell off meanwhile he's setting us up to go off uh He's putting things for our people to go off. All right. Um, it says, and they overcame him. So ultimately, we know the end. We know the end all being of this thing, man. Isaiah fifty five and eleven: the most high words shall not return void. And Isaiah fourteen and twenty four says, as he has spoken, so shall it come to pass. And the most high says, we're gonna overcome this bullshit. You know, we're gonna up overcome this uphill battle in this place, man. So uh, yes. Brothers that we're going through afflictions or whatever or whatever we're going through, um, we do this thing until the end, man. We're gonna obtain a prize, a prize that far outweigh any payoff in this world, any payoff times a billion in infinity, man. It's just gonna be the best payoff ever. But you gotta be willing to lose your life. Right? Revelations twenty and eleven. And they came and they overcame him by the blood of the Lamb, see, and by the word of their testimony. Which is the prophecies of Yahweh Shai. And they love not their lives unto death. See that? Okay, because if you, when that hour of temptation comes, prime example, all right, people that love their life are going to take the chip to pursue their life. You know, whatever things they hold dear to themselves in this place, all right, they'll, they'll, get, they'll uh, let those attachments come before this word because they're looking to seek their life. The scripture says, those that try to save their life shall lose it. But those that lose their life for me shall have eternal life. And certain men, all right, are going to be faithful unto death. Whether they, whether you, you know, they put that, they put the, your life at stake for this thing, man. Which is a very high possibility, okay? Actually, that's going to happen to some of us. Some of those that have the faith to endure it will put, be put through that lot. We put will be tried like that, you know. In this particular day and time, man, men are a lo men are lovers of, of themselves, man. You see everybody on these TikTok and social media. Follow me here, follow me this. You're not gonna hear anything about follow the Lord, all right? So those people are infatuated with their lives, man. In this present world, okay. And consider what we do, foolish. Oh, you could be doing this, man. Yo, why don't you go this and be this and do that? And, uh, Look, man, my soul do this to be a prophet of the Lord. All right. Acts 20 and 22. And now, behold, I go to, I go bound. This is the Apostle Paul now saying, look, and now behold, I go bound in the spirit unto Jerusalem, not knowing the things that shall befall me there. So he got, you know, he, he was preparing his mind pretty much for everything. And in everything, he's going locked up. He's going to Jerusalem. You know, he don't know what the hell could happen. He could get killed or whatever. You don't know. Verse 23. Save that the Holy Spirit witnesses in every city, saying that the bonds and afflictions abide me, but none of those things move me. Right. So, um, this is a, a a man with a very strong faith, ready to bound, locked up. Don't know your faith, but he's like, look, man, I'm I'm being led by the Holy Spirit. All right, I'm being watched over. Okay. And I, I, I'm still maintaining this truth. That's the main top priority. Neither count I my life dear unto myself. See that? Neither count I my life dear unto myself. So you, you want to be like a great man like the Apostle Paul? Look what he did. He just followed Yahweh Shah. All right? So we got to follow what Yahweh Shah said. 
willing not to count on life or anything, man. To, to hell with this life, this present world. Right? Our mindset should be on the what? The kingdom to come. Okay? Neither count I my life dear unto myself, so that I might finish my course with joy. That's how you finish the course. That's how you finish the course, man. Maintaining your faith in Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, and, 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 and part of the, and the faith goes in tandem with the works. All right? A man, might, a man might say he has faith. All right? But show me that faith without works, and I should show you my faith by my works, roughly paraphrasing. So this is why we out there in a the cold. This is why we putting up videos nonstop. This is why we keep putting up new challenges, even though they keep deleting it. Because we're showing the testimony of our faith to our Lord Yahweh Shah by putting forth work, evidence of our faith, man. It says, I might finish my course with joy and the ministry which I have received of the Lord Yahweh Shah to testify the gospel of the grace of the Most High. So, nothing new under the sun there's gonna right now they penalizing us by deleting channels and being you know flaggets okay but they're gonna up it man all right soon this thing is gonna be punishable by death via treason and if that's the case that's the case second corinthians 5 and 14 for the love of yahweh shah constraining us right because we love our lord hamashiach yahweh shah Right, it constrains us, right? Meaning we're pretty pretty much prisons of the Lord. You know, we don't belong to ourselves because our flesh probably want to do different things, you know? But fuck our flesh, all right? It's about the spirit. Okay? So it constrains us, all right, from the lust and bullshit of this place, this present world, because we thus judge that if one died for all, then we're all dead, right? We're all pretty much worthy of death, man. Scripture says all fall short. Right? Because the, the law were perfect, but it was put in imperfect vessels. But now we're alive. Because the scripture says what? In St. John in St. John 6. Uh was it a uh, spirit of self bear witness? No, no, not spirit of sorry. Uh St. John 6 and 63. St. John St. John 6 and 63. It is the spirit that quickeneth. The flesh profiteth nothing. Right. So the quickening means to make alive. You know, when a baby will kick him on, start kicking him on the stomach, they'll call it like quickening. Like he's alive. So this is what makes us live. It's the spirit of the Lord. The words which I speak, the words that I speak unto you, they are spirit and they are life. Boom. So whoever said sticks and stones. Hurt bones, but words are never hurt. Man, words are fucking powerful, man. All right? Especially the word of the most size. Extremely powerful. If if it's not powerful, why shut it down? Why ban us? Why take down the videos if his words don't mean nothing? Words means a lot, man. Nothing means more than the word of the Lord. All right? Uh, it says, And that he died for all, that they which live should not henceforth live unto themselves, unto him which died for them and rose again exactly so um you know when you put together a lesson and you're doing your shows you're going out there all right what that does that takes time all right time that others might say you could be doing this you could be doing that how are you going to spend your saturday like that we've been hearing these things for years man that's how the, the people in the world they're natural all right they call them the call of mine can't explain the spiritual things are the most high because they're spiritually discerned, man. All right, so these people, they're natural, man. They carnal. They don't. They can't see. Um. They can't see down the line. Okay, they can only see what's in front of them. Okay, but really, the most high closed them off to it, anyways, because this thing ultimately is for the elect. When, when we put together these shows and we doing these shows, this thing is geared towards the elect, man. We're not concerned about everybody because guess what? Second Ezra, the eighth chapter, tells us, all right, that they be. Uh, the world to come this world is for many but the world to come is for few all right there be more that perish than than that be saved so we doing we dealing with that small remnant the small remnant is going to get it at the end of the day all right we can't make them not get it or make them get it it's up to the, the most already has his elect seal and they're going to understand they're going to flock to the truth no matter what
No matter what a hating ass, lying ass, demon uh, come up and try to tell him, man. Okay? So, yeah, I'm going to close it. All right? Pretty much, you know, again, I'm, we're dead to this world. Because Yahweh Shah died for us and he may live through us, man. I was just quick to the point. All right, I'm going to give all praises to Yahweh, Bahashim Yahweh Shah, Bahashim Rakakodash, the belongs to the apostles and the elders of Great Mills, and true well. The salutation to the whole for the left out there, you Akim, the Dakim, that do this thing in the utmost truth and sincerity. Shalom.